Alright, there we go then. Star Citizen 3.0 PTU is live. And I actually got onto it this time. Yesterday, um, almost to my chagrin, I couldn't get on. I was trying and trying and trying. As soon as I found out, you know, 3.0 is live, I was like, you know, let's have a look into this and get onto it. I want to check it out. Really want to check it out. If I don't get check it out, I'm going to have to kill someone. Um, couldn't get on, so I went into Washington and killed loads of people. And, um, you know, that's, that's that, really. But this is 3.0. Well, I say it's 3.0. This is the PTU, which is kind of like a... Well, it's an alpha within an alpha, if you want to call it that. Call it that. Um, in that this is really kind of early access proper early access um, it's not the ultimate early access which is even probably sketchier but it's getting there um, but as you can see 3.0 seems to have something a little bit different about look at all this grand vehicles and a planet well at least a planet now as far as the actual Game goes. They've changed a little bit by those things. I think they've added one more hangar, and Crusader's now on its own. You don't have Area 18, I think it was called. Um, this area, that's gone. But this. This should really make it so that um, yeah. Damn it, I'm getting just my my. I'm getting excited just looking at it, and thinking to myself, "Oh, fuck, what am I gonna do? Where am I gonna go? It's just gonna be crazy." And yeah, it is. It's gonna be space. We're in. I think. Space porn. <laughs> get a bit of frame loss it. Say a bit, uh, quite a bit. We've got a map. So yeah, there's the Daymars there, and we've got a few comrades around. Oh, seven. There's another one as well. I mean, we're only just around one planet. <laughs> oh, you couldn't die. Solar system to explore. Welcome to the Port Olazar ship deck. Please press the screen to continue. 
This is different. Normally it would just give you an option to claim your own or bring out your own ships and it's not doing that. This is all different stuff. You can I claim something? Okay. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Your ship has been delivered. CO7. Okay. These sound effects, though. My version! My version is real! And this is the thing. This isn't one of the ships I, I bought. Number up. Ha! The victory is real. Okay, so. this to sort out my location I want to go to or... Ah, yes, it is. So where do we want to go then? We've got Damon, we've got Yellow, and we've got Selen. Can't go to Selen straight away, so... Damon, I think everyone will probably go to. Yellow, I'm not so sure. I think Yellow's bigger as well. We'll go and have a look at Demo. This is really, we're going to make planet fall on Daymar.
if we can get into well before <laughs> we die of oxygen starvation or whatever if you want I think we should be okay it's just gonna take some time to get there come on listen It's going to take a minute or so to get into Daymar's atmosphere by those things. And then uh, we can do stuff on the planet, maybe. I'm honestly not sure if there's a. Um, if we're going to get burnt up on re entry, so I'm going to angle it in slightly. So hopefully we're not just going to, you know, hit the atmosphere and turn into a fireball. Because that wouldn't be good. I had honestly forgotten how good this game looks. Damn man. Close it out. It's about sixteen fourteen meters a second at the moment. I don't really want to be hitting this atmosphere at too high speed because I'm honestly not sure if we're just gonna turn into a fireball. Or if you've got, like, heat shielding. I assume we do, but, yeah. After flying all this way, I don't want to just turn into a fireball. <laughs> it would be a um, pre-end, pretty end even, to my first outing in the three below PTU, but not the end I was hoped for. We go, we're going in. That's definitely um, a bit of atmospheric friction, maybe, you want to call that? Oh, that wasn't much, so thin atmosphere, I guess.
Whoa. Yeah, I did see a ship as it flew over there, so I was a bit like... Uh, uh. Come down, please. Yeah, this is the ship there. I'm wondering if there's a player here. Oh, come on, stay down, please. That's a consolation. I'm assuming there's a either a player here or we'll, that's just a you know random spawn, but I'm honestly not sure. Let me down. Oops, didn't mean to do that one. Finally get off the ship. I wasn't really expecting to find that much here, if I'm honest. I'm gonna have a look at that constellation. Although, I just noticed something, it's not actually got a vehicle marker on it. So maybe it's just like a part of the scenery. Actually, because there is a locking mechanism for them now. I believe it's an auto locking mechanism as well. <laughs> I'm helmet off for, for a second. That one isn't gonna end well.
Matt Damon. <laughs> in the uh, picture in the back of the night. Yep, we don't. No, no, stop that, please. Yeah, that's not good. I should have really just turned the power on when I was on the deck. Now, oh, there's a plate there. So I think there is. Yeah, there is. He's now wondering what I was doing down there, I guess. <laughs> Looks like he's gonna land. Sweet. I would stick around and interact, but I want to just have a look around more than anything. So, where should we go next? Well, that's still good. Matt Demi. 